Welcome to Avia. In this video, we'll do an exploration of a dataset for 3D object detection and tracking. Go to File, Open, navigate to the Demo folder, Demo Data folder. In there, you will find the 3D object tracking demo. Open the dataset that is on the top. Dataset will open initially in the 2D space in the main view and you can explore it in Z and in time but I will move to the 3D view in the 3D view you will see this 3D dataset with both the results which can be turned on and off under the object set settings and the raw data which can be turned on and off in the channel settings the bottom panel you can close it or you can use it to look at the results here or look at the track editor and interact with the track editor here. You can play through the video, the play button, to zoom in into the data set, use the wheel to go forward or backward, to rotate is a left click on the mouse, to translate the right click on the mouse. There are quite a few uh, display options for the tracks. Those can be adjusted under the object set settings tracks. Right now they're not visible because I set them to five frames only. If you make them longer, more frames will be visible. In addition to tracks, you also have the anchors. These are the center points in the data in the cells. They're not visible right now because they are inside of these uh, meshes, which are mapped here as objects. I can turn on and off the objects right here. Can also make them semi-transparent, so I can look through and see the center points. Center points are now visible. In Avia, they're called anchors. You can also make these bigger and smaller using this control. The anchors are the center points of the cells. These meshes or surfaces represent the outline of the cell. And you can see they represent very well the raw data, which is visible now. We also have available trends, and these are arrows that connect the start and the end point of each track. There are some advanced settings under the trends, which you can explore in our Avia wiki pages. As with other results, you can plot them in our charts. And I'm going to select here a couple of parameters. So volume, uh, actually choosing the dot plot. Now we'll have volume on the x-axis and centroid Z in the, the x-axis and the volume on the y-axis. These can be selected and the selection happens both in the chart, in the spreadsheet, and in 3D space. Selection is highlighted in white. 